Everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, you already know what I want you to do. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, come join the family, come join the squad, come join the gang. Today's video is a requested video. Um, a couple of people wanted me to show how to upload your drum kits into Logic. Um, like if you wanted to. Um, use kits that you downloaded from off the internet, Reddit, Splice, whatever, and actually input them into Logic and use them. So that's what I'm gonna show y'all today. But before I move on and continue with this video, I want like you all to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at all twelve keys underscore. Hit that post notification button so every time that I post you will get a notification that I have posted and you can be the first one to see my video. Also, I'm gonna start doing shout outs. So just leave random comments under my Instagram picture, my Twitter picture, and in the next video, I will shout you out in the video. Without further ado, stay tuned for the video. See y'all soon. Okay, so you could actually do this two ways. You could either open your ultra beat drum set and import each instrument into each slot. So you could do um, drum kits. You're gonna go to drum kits, and then you're gonna go to drag and drop samples. And then so each one of these are blank. So what you're gonna do is um, let me see a random kit. Um, so say I want my kick, any kick that I want, I'm going to drag it into here, and it should be right there. And then, so say you want a snare, um, snare, uh, you have to click on sample two. And drag it into there and it should be right there I don't like that one not like I'm about to make a beat or anything but. and say you don't like the sound you could just drag the new sound that you want you don't have to like delete it and then it's, it's very simple but you know it could be easier but you know what I'm saying okay and say you want hi-hats so then you do uh, sample three and then drag it. There you go. The only thing I, the only reason why I don't really like using this all the time, Ultra Beat all the time, is because, like, say I want a different note on my snare, or I want like two snares, so I want one snare on note C and then one snare on note G. You can't do that because it's only on one note. So. You can do this another way, which is in um, X, the XX24, and it won't be in one, all your instruments won't be like in one channel, so you have to do each one separately. So, say you want, I'm going to do the same kicks, um, say you want your kick on there so the good thing about this one is you could you could have it like and say you want a high you know it's it's a wide range of notes like if you want a high pitch kick and how you get to this um, screen right here Okay, see it back about. Is most of the time if you never use the EX24, this edit and options 
buttons won't show so what you do is you click logic go to preferences and you go to advanced tools and you hit advanced editing and then that allows you to have that edit choice and import your samples same thing goes for um let's see same thing goes for your hi-hats like see you have a wide range instead of just having that one note you know say you have an 808 but it's not in tune like on the note that you want do I have anything okay um so say it's not on the note you want so all you have to do is let me show you actually let me just show you real quick use your tuner under metering tuner and let's see what notice well it's in C but say you want C2 to be G okay so see how this is on G if you want your C C since you play in C but you the note is G say you if you want C and the play C so you just go to your course and you go down negative seven and see how it's still like not not in tune so you go to fine to fine tune it until it reaches zero yeah that's the closest you're gonna get to it but just to so y'all can know how to do it also you can do um, the same thing you did in in ultra beat so say you want it all your and all your drum instruments on one um one we want to play them at the same time on the same track so what you would do is you have what kick um you could put your snare and you could put some hats and you could put um, 808 and so how you would have each one see cuz they all gonna play on the same track so what you do is um see how it have the low and the high that means this is how far the note can go so it starts at C negative 2 and it goes all the way up to G8 so if you just want it on one note, so say I want my kick on C2. So I'm going to go C2. You see it starts right there. And then you want it to end on C2. So you end it on C2. And then you do the same for your snare. You do C sharp 2. And end on C sharp too. You could type it in as well. And then D2. D2. D sharp 2. D sharp 2. And listen. See, and you could like Yeah, you could do all of that. I don't have my MIDI on me, so I'm just playing the click clicking play however you say it. But this is the end of this video. I hope this was somewhat helpful to anybody out there watching my channel. If you want to see anything else, if you don't know how to do a certain thing, you want to learn how to do something better, 
please let me know in the comment section below or you can let me know on Twitter or Instagram it doesn't matter I'm here to help y'all I'm here to help y'all become better producers learn how to use this software learn how to be the best you can be in whatever you do thank y'all again for watching don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at all12keys underscore Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button if you liked it, tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your brother, tell your cousin, tell your grandma, tell your anybody. Come follow me, come learn, come join the family. Thank y'all again for watching. I hope this was helpful. See y'all at the next video. Peace.